In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to check the specs of your Chromebook. So, if you need to find out what CPU your Chromebook has, or how much RAM or storage it has, for some specific reason, or maybe you're just curious, this is how you can find out. To see the CPU and RAM specs, you'll need to open the Diagnostics app on your Chromebook. This app is actually hidden from the normal app menu that appears here when you click on this circle in the bottom, so you won't find it here. But if you click up in the search up here and start typing diagnostics, so D-I-A, it'll pop up here, as you can see, diagnostics. So you can click on that and now you'll be in the diagnostics app with all kinds of information about your Chromebook. And if you scroll down a bit here, you'll see there's the CPU here and the RAM here. So in these two sections, you can see all the information about the CPU and RAM. So we can see here, Timmy's Chromebook has an Intel Core i5-8350U CPU. And you can see some of the details about the CPU here. And if you look down here, you'll see some of the current information about it. So, Timmy's currently using 5, 2, 4, as you can see it keeps changing. Timmy's currently using this much of the CPU. So this number changes constantly based on what you're doing on your Chromebook and what you have open in the background. But basically, if this number was 100%, that would mean your Chromebook is currently working as hard as it possibly can to do everything and really anything less than 100% would mean what you're doing right now is quite easily within its capabilities. We also have the temperature here next to it, and the temperature is probably going to be quite hot compared to the room temperature, but this is quite normal. Even if it's hotter than this, it still wouldn't be a big deal. It's only if it was consistently around 100 degrees Celsius or higher you might want to turn it off and give it a break or something like that, because at that point it's kind of overheating a bit too much. But anything less than that is really perfectly normal and nothing to worry about. And you also have the current speed of the CPU here. That's probably not overly helpful, but it's there if you're interested. And just up here, you also have a graph of the usage. So. If you were to open an app or something and then close that app, you'd see a spike here where the Chromebook had to work slightly harder for a second to open the app. So that gives you an idea of what the CPU is doing. And you can also see here that the user, which is you, so all the apps and everything you're do doing is currently using 2% of the CPU and the system, which is the Chrome OS operating system, is currently using 1 to 0%. So you can see that to see what sort of using all your Chromebook CPU, but that's all there is to the CPU. Moving on down here to the RAM, you'll see it says memory here, and a lot of people often think that this is the storage on their Chromebook, where all the files are kept, but this is actually the RAM on your Chromebook, where everything that's currently open is stored. So every tab and open app will be stored here when it's open, and then when you close it, it will be removed. So in this case, it says to me has 2.39 out of 7.67 gigabytes available. So this means to me's Chromebook has 7.67 gigabytes of RAM. And that's usually rounded up or down, so Timmy could say Timmy's Chromebook has 8 gigabytes of RAM. And as we can see here, only 2.39 gigabytes of RAM is currently available. So if we do the math, that means everything that's currently open on Timmy's Chromebook is using 5.31 gigabytes of RAM. So if you're using nearly all of the RAM on your Chromebook, 
you might want to close some tabs or close some apps or uninstall some Chrome extensions to free up some space. But regardless of how much you're currently using, this number here is how much RAM your Chromebook has. So that's the CPU and RAM, but this diagnostics app doesn't actually show anything about the storage on your Chromebook. So to see that, you'll have to close this app and open up the settings app by clicking on the app menu down here and then just scrolling down until you find settings and click on that. And now you'll need to scroll down in settings here until we get to device, this device section, and then click on storage management here. So now in storage management, you'll see how much storage you're using. So the in use bit is how much storage you're using and how much is available. Strangely, it doesn't actually tell you the total of how much storage your Chromebook has, but if you add these two numbers together, you can find that out pretty easily. For example, Timmy's using 40.1 gigabytes. So the Chrome OS operating system and all the apps and all the files Timmy has on Timmy's Chromebook are taking up 40.1 gigabytes. And Timmy has 23.9 gigabytes of available storage. So if we add those two numbers together, 40.1, plus 23.9. That means Timmy's Chromebook has a total of 64 gigabytes of storage, which is fairly normal for a Chromebook. And it also gives you a breakdown of what's using your storage. So there's My Files, which is all the files you have stored on your Chromebook. There's Browsing Data down here, which is the cached information that gets saved in Google Chrome when you visit a website. There is apps and extensions. So any apps or Chrome extensions you've installed are taking up this much space. And if you have multiple accounts on your Chromebook, so when you're in the sign-in screen, you see multiple different accounts you could log into. This other users section will be here. And that's all the stuff that other users, so all the apps and files that other users have storing on this Chromebook. And of course, you also have the system, which is all the files that need to be stored on your Chromebook in order for Chrome OS to work. But now you know how much storage your Chromebook has and how much you're using. So you can just close the settings app and that's all there is to it. That's how you can see the key specs of your Chromebook. So hopefully you found this helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.